Kim Tate attempted to use her financial advisor Peter to get at Will Taylor a few weeks ago in Emmerdale. In the middle but of a feud with her partner, really Kim tried to get the upper hand last week. Tasking Ross Barton with ridding the village of her hubby, Ross led Kim to believe that Will was dead, to get his which left the home farm divorce. businesswoman devastated as she came to realize that she was still holding a candle for him. When Will revealed that he was, in fact, still alive, Kim decided to swallow her pride and put a stop to the divorce proceedings. Hoping she and we Ross was amused to hear of the pair's reconciliation and made end, light of the situation, nothing more than to telling Will that he's letting Kim walk all over him. Spent the night together, Will was left with food for thought and, fresh start. when Kim asked him to call his solicitor and destroy the dossier he'd been keeping on her, he started to wonder if that's all Kim was interested in. After some time to think, Will told Peter, who he'd been in cahoots with previously, that the plan to take Kim down will carry on as normal. Peter, meanwhile, made a phone call of his own, telling the person on the other end of the call that the little puppet was back in As play. expected, with theories are circulating online, Tate, with Jamie Tate and Joe Tate's names being mentioned often by Emma audience Del members desperate for answers. Who was Peter on the Whilst phone I love the fabulous Kim Tate, please let it be invested Tate, in the storyline. Another Kim, wrote, a user but who's the puppet said, master? Please me my prince Jamie O.R.L. Joe. Fans are also wondering if Peter may be somehow connected to the late Graham Foster. Who knew Joe and also told Caleb Milligan how his dad Frank Tate died. 